What's good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at $250 at Gucci versus $250 at Topman. Now this is something that I might want to turn into a series and compare the two. Now when I say $250 at Gucci, I mean buying multiple items that cost under $250 because there's not many items that cost less than that and then go to Topman and buy equivalents to, you know, around $250. Now, the thing that I like about this is that Topman has items that are replica similar to Gucci, AKA there's some of the logos and designs that are very inspired by them. And so I think it's be good to go ahead and get those particular items and, you know, compare them to like the real items. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna get the exact items because we're at that $250 price point, but for now, let's go ahead, head to Topman. I'm gonna buy this stuff from Gucci online and uh, I already actually have it in here because I already bought it. And then you guys will go ahead and see the two different combinations of things that we end up getting and seeing what you know ultimately you get for that amount of money i know a lot of people have done a similar video like jacob star has a hundred dollars at gucci video there's just people who did 500 gucci i did that hundred dollar challenge there's so many different variations and things i thought why not bring these two together the items if you guys can tell the gucci stuff is in here and it's a lot lighter than the stuff in this top man bag obviously that was what was expected if i did this challenge and only had 250 dollars like flat to spend for gucci i would only have one thing because there literally is no two things that are under 250 dollars unless you buy like duplicate items so i did end up buying one more thing that ended up not coming because they're out of stock so i i got everything here now now let me go ahead and do the top man first the other idea that I had for this is I wanted to do like $250 of Fear of God versus $250 of H&M. If you want to see that video, get this video to like, you know, I don't know, 7,500 likes and we'll go ahead and do that one because I want to see if this video gets received well, as well as I just posted a fire picture over on my snub. So if you didn't see that, go ahead and check it in the link down below. I got something cool coming up in the next few videos with snub. So wait out for that for now. Let's go ahead, jump into this. I just got a whole mess of stuff here to show you guys because 250 bucks. Hopefully, uh, there's a receipt. So my total after taxes was $255, but it was $20 in taxes, so $235. I still could have, you know, bought $15 more worth of stuff because taxes. Now, the first things I want to show you is the Gucci-inspired stuff because I would say Gucci inspires a lot of different companies, and they've actually gone through lawsuits with, like, Forever 21 over this. And so I think it's pretty interesting. Now, also, that box is right there because I'm moving in, like, uh, three days. So I've got all my stuff ready to go, but... As you guys can see, this is the first shirt right here for $35. It, I don't even know what it says. It says like Enigma on it, but obviously that is the same, you know, double G type thing. It's just two zeros overlapping. Gucci has the double G's that overlap. It's just kind of like a classic logo. I think it is one that is used a lot, especially with the two bars there, but that was $35. And that was the first piece I walked in. I saw it. I was like, that looks exactly like Gucci. I should be able to throw this in the video. I also saw some pieces that I just liked in general, like stuff that would be good for the summertime. And I thought that would also be a cool thing to show you guys is just stuff that you can get there that I like for under the 250 bucks, just so you can get, you know, like cheaper alternatives or just kind of like the cheaper price point. If you want some stuff in my hands, I need to stop and I need to stop talking so much. We got the second Gucci inspired shirt. So in the same store, there was two long sleeves that were Gucci inspired. Now this one is a little less. It is also a little bright. As you can see, it doesn't have as much of, you know, the similar, but that bar I would say is very similar. Now I don't know if Gucci originated that, you know, bar on the shirt, but I would definitely say that this is inspired by that because it's like the same type font on the top as well as that. So both of these long sleeves, very similar. This one has the two colors. So that's like a big thing that I thought, you know, I feel like I can like easily say that those are similar to the Gucci because it is the general same idea. But with another t-shirt, oh, this is another one here. I thought might be Gucci inspired is the three stripes. You know, Gucci has a bunch of different stuff. You see their shoes that have the blue and red stripes on the side. Now, I think this goes even farther back than Gucci probably. And I think even like companies like Tommy Hilfiger have more inspired clothing around this. So I don't want to say this is just Gucci's, you know, inspiration, but this is another one. I don't think, I think this is kind of cool. Actually, it is a little bit different from what I wear because it is like a long sleeve slash crew neck, but I thought, you know, colors wise that might be able to relate to the Gucci stuff. I'm going to say that word a million times. Then I went ahead and got some shorts. I mean, they're just shorts in general. I thought this would be cool. I, I mean, Gucci's got shorts, but I mean, this is just a track style pant. 
this has been you know inspired by so many different companies and i think it is a part of that big wave right now but i thought these shorts cool color and you know i thought why not throw those in there they were like 55 bucks though 40 bucks so right there i got two more things left surprisingly like these right here these are something that are very similar to something i got in the uh, gucci package and these are just some sunglasses i'd really this is the best pair i could find for 15 bucks and i they're just very simple like very basic i would say with the kind of tortoise look on there. It looks tortoisey slash zebra-y, but I thought these look similar to the things that I got in the Gucci, so I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and throw it in there. And then, lastly, we got a floral shirt. All of these, you know, I felt had some inspiration or maybe could find similar things at the Gucci store, and this was it right here. Now, floral, another thing that's been around forever, and I think you could find inspiration through many different things for floral. This is just a cool summer shirt, actually. It's very soft, and it was expensive. It was 55 bucks. I mean, expensive, but out of everything, I think this is the most expensive, and I, if I can find similar things from Gucci, I will put them up on the screen. So hopefully it didn't take too long going through all of that, but the price total of that was like $255 after taxes. I didn't want to spend too much time talking, but stuff from Gucci ended up buying online. I put them in an Neiman Marcus bag because, you know, why not? It's somewhere you can get Gucci. And I got three total items, and that was kind of a big thing for me, but that's three total items that aren't you know, combined $250, they are more, each item costs under $250 because of the nature of Gucci and their higher prices. So there's three items. First things first is the sunglasses, which I was talking about, which I actually like these. So these are called the Havana sunglasses. It's, you know, Gucci's got a little bit nice of, you know, the kind of velour outside. Let's compare $15 versus these are $260. So this, I literally needed more items and I thought 260 is not too bad. Let's compare. 15 to 60 open these up this kind of reminds me of just like an old style like when i was in high school glasses case but we got the glasses right here of course you have like a nice little gucci you know cleaner patch and then you got like a pouch here just a nice little gucci frame they're 260 which i don't think is too bad for a pair of sunglasses because in general when you're dealing with like nicer sunglasses that price is not that bad there's glasses that go up to $1,000, $400. It's just like with anything, you can pay for the higher quality, better lenses and different stuff like that. I typically like to tend to stick to a little bit more higher quality with the lenses and different stuff like that. That is, you know, the first thing, 260 bucks. And then I was hoping, you know, let maybe get a t-shirt or maybe like some shoes or some slides or I, I, th I was trying to find, I went to so many different websites. And these two last things are the general most you can get for under $250. And it's just, Gucci has higher prices. The first thing is this little guy right here. This is $120, I believe. This little guy right here. Let me show you what this is. It is a Gucci handkerchief. So if you want to blow your nose, if you're doing something, you can do it on this nice Gucci handkerchief. And it's got like the Gucci blocks right there. And so that is what you can see where it says it right there in multiple different angles. Blue, square, like 12 by 12 handkerchief of course that's what makes it worth it i don't know the whole you know i don't know what's up with like handkerchiefs and what's good quality and how the fabrics feel you know i know this generally feels like a decent you know fabric nothing crazy nothing i would honestly wouldn't blow my nose on this so i guess this is just something to keep in your pocket in like a suit or something so maybe that's what i would guess it'd be like a little thing that pops out like that out of a suit i don't know but for 120 bucks you know that's a little tax that's again you know what company you're dealing with and then lastly i was actually able to get a shirt for under 250 bucks and i'm pretty hyped about it i don't know how hyped you guys are gonna be about it you guys might be mad because only thing in shirts that i could get for under 250 bucks so if you take that out of frame so if you take it out of frame was a shirt this big <laughs> <laughs> look at this this thing is like 180 dollars. It is a baby gucci t-shirt now we can compare this double g logo right here to that one i bought a gucci t-shirt for 400 well i didn't pay 400 dollars. i got it for around 200 dollars. it was very thin it was just you know it was a nice shirt but it's very thin i don't think it was worth the money I ended up selling it to a buddy for like 150 bucks thought it was a pretty decent deal but this one right here i don't think i could put my kid unless i'm elon musk i don't think i could put my kid in a shirt like this because they're gonna grow out of it in like a month now when i'm an established adult i can see you know that i can put on clothes i still feel like a kid i feel like i could put on clothes and you know get my use out of them because i'm not gonna grow out of them but look if I tried to put this on, this thing would just rip in half. Let's go ahead and show you guys that logo, though. This is the, the logo right there. Let's compare. You could just see the red, green stripe, and then the double G logo on the center. I'm going to put some overlay shots as well. That's just the inspiration right there. And I think, you know, the font is similar. And I don't see a problem with that because, obviously, most people don't want to pay that really high price point. 
but I just think in general, most people won't care if your shirt says Gucci. Whenever I wore mine, I just felt like I was trying to flex and do too much. And that's why I really didn't like wearing it. It was just too flashy for me. You're gonna have your child wearing that. I would say go fake for your child. Go get a $20 fake t-shirt from wherever and let your kid wear that because they're gonna grow out of it. Who cares that, I mean, unless you're DJ Khaled's son, I can understand. Assad has like a million dollars in Gucci, but his dad is. So for Gucci, we got three items. We got the baby Gucci t-shirt. There's a few t-shirts you can get on there for under 250 bucks. The Gucci sunglasses, which I think in general, 250 bucks is not a bad price point. That's mid tier for some sunglasses that have good UV protection, different things like that. And obviously you can get a decent pair of sunglasses for like 15 bucks. It's gonna do the job as a sunglasses, but it's not gonna offer the most protection and different like lens features, but it's not a big deal if you don't wanna spend that much money. I personally will spend around 100 50 bucks in a pair of sunglasses. I have spent more, I have spent less, but that is my tier. Then we have the handkerchief again. I don't, handkerchief, there's, you know, many different ways that you can say handkerchief is nice. I, I'm not a handkerchief connoisseur. I don't know the reasoning behind that besides a pocket possibly to have in a suit. And I think that that you're going to buy an expensive suit. That could be a nice attribution to it. For the stuff from Top Man, you can get a bunch of different stuff. T-shirts around 35 for a long sleeve, shorts 45. You get a nice button down for, you know, 55. I think you can just, it offers a lot more time. And obviously this is gonna be a weird comparison because they offer so many cheap things there. But I think getting things that relate to Gucci and have a little bit of inspiration through them, I think is a cool thing to compare because I think a lot of these companies have those different things. Companies like Fear of God and H&M. I think H&M takes a lot of inspiration. I have different things from Fear of God. I think it could be a cool comparison. So if you wanna see something like that, you have to let me know down below and get that 7,500 likes and I will do that. Maybe St. Laurent and Forever 21, something like that. I don't know. But I think there's a lot of different things to find inspiration from bigger designer companies and be able to compare them and maybe i'll twist this into maybe like comparing thousand dollar fear of god denim to denim from forever 21 that costs 25 dollars maybe it could be like that but you guys have to help me with the guidance of kind of this i want to make it like a series direction of comparing two different things and getting you know that cheaper price point to that more expensive and adding a twist to it because there's a lot of different comparing cheaper alternatives but I think being able to compare it like this with what you can buy for this price point with that, I think it is a good thing to do. But that's gonna wrap it up. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like down below and I'll see you guys next time. I just got really lit. Signing out. <laughs> Whoa, okay. This is Harrison signing out.